Das ist keine Posaune, das ist eine Trompete mit einem Zug. Das Instrument wird in französischen Werken und in der dritten schottischen Sinfonie von Mendelssohn verlangt. Und der Professor am Conservatoire de Paris, Duvernier, verlangt äh, von seinem Studenten das Spiel mit drei verschiedenen Trompeten. Naturtrompete, Zugtrompete und Ventiltrompete. Das ist ein einzigartiges Instrument, ein Sax von Süregü von Adolf Sachs. Es gibt kein zweites erhalten. Süregü heißt Hoch B, wie die Piccolo-Trompeten heute. Das Instrument hat drei Ventilen und drei Trillerklappen. Die Trillerklappen sind sehr speziell auf dem Instrument, aber dem Adolf Sachs war es nicht untypisch. Er hat Saxophone gebaut, Saxophon haben Klappen, auch Trillerklappen. Auf dem Instrument äh, sind die Klappen auch Trillerklappen. Man spielt einfach mit den drei Ventilen und verwendet die Klappen für die Trillen. Saxophones, Saxhorns und Saxotrombas. That triangle was the cornerstone on which other sax business plan was built. Probably, the balloon inventor started to work on the saxophone prototype when he was still living in Brussels. And everything seems to indicate that it was there where he presented it semi-officially at the Belgian Industrial Fair in 1841. The board members listened to the instrument behind a curtain and without looking at it, which would avoid premature dissemination, or more simply, it meant a manoeuvre to raise interest. Next year, at the same time in Paris, Sachs showed it privately to some of the most prominent musical personalities, including the influencer Hector Berlioz. However, it was in February 1844 when the saxophone was first seen in a public concert in a wind sextet at the prestigious Hair Concert Hall. The piece of music was called Chant Sacré based on an Irish melody, the words of which were set by the poet Thomas Moore and subsequently scored by Berlioz. Next December 1st, the saxophone was played in the opera The Last King in Judah, written by Kastner and premiered at the concert hall of the conservatory. However, other sax did not protect the instrument until March 21st, 1846. This was the day of the saxophone pattern that would last for 15 years. This kind of registry or public document offered the owner the power of manufacturing and selling the product exclusively in the national territory, as well as granting licenses with other makers who were then free to produce the instruments. In addition, it was illegal too for him to bring before the courts those people that infringed the patent and if so, receiving economic compensation and the right to confiscate the conflicting goods and machinery which they produced. In accordance with Sachs' reasons, he justified the existence of the saxophone as a suitable instrument for being combined with a stringed instrument but at the same time had much greater power, a special feature which also made it effective to be played outdoors. Unfortunately, the 
document does not explain how it was created, but the text's sketches suggest that the saxophone was initially based on his Ambass clarinet and the Ophiclite.